<sighs> okay, I'm Golem. This is Let's Play Sonic Adventure. In previous recordings, I've tried to cover the entire importance of Skydeck and Tails' story. Because while playing this stage, a light bulb went on in my head. And I want to share it, uh, but that means talking about the stage in an abstract manner, and there's way too much to cover in the like 2 minutes and 30 seconds it takes me to clear the stage. And I feel like, at least with Red Mountain, and you know, I've been building up to it, I think. Um, lately, I've been talking less about what's happening on screen and more about like, just talking about the stage and then there's video of it in the background. And that's not really an LP, is it? Um, I don't know. I do want to cover the structure, that's very important. But, uh, you know, I'll try to stay more on topic and we'll see how that goes this time. See you on the other side. So when this stage begins, Tails is shot out onto a cylinder uh, that he grips to, and that's a big part of the stage. It's uh, used as a punctuation for, you know, rounding corners and stuff. Um, and also, right here, we've got a narrow walkway, uh, hurdles on it. Um, have we seen another stage with lots of narrow walkways and alternate paths that are very similar? Hmm, mayhaps. Anyway, so ahead of me, you see those were spinning cylinders, and right here we've got spinning cylinders. So this stage deal in general is that you'll have a choice of alternate paths, but like back there with the spinning cylinders, uh, the two paths you take play pretty much the same. Um, but there also is definitely one of those paths will be a shortcut. It's just that the shortcut plays more or less exactly like the main path, which is definitely not how alternate paths have worked in a lot of the other stages. Um, and you can see here, the scripting is giving me a lot of trouble. I don't know what my problem is. I, As a kid, I remember this working perfectly. Maybe as a child I was just better at taking directions? That doesn't sound reasonable. Yeah, running into walls. And I've never gotten the camera to do that before. <laughs> anyway, I think the best example of how uh, alternate paths are very similar is right around the corner. Up ahead, you see in the background there, those are all alt alternate paths. There's a top, there's a middle, there's a bottom. But they're all exactly the same. You just run forward and you try to escape the laser shots. And there's hurdles to jump over. Um, what's neat about this stage, though, is that you can fly... You can cut corners using flying in a lot of ways. Even if I... Yeah, see? Even if the camera kind of gives you a hassle for it. Gives you beef for it? Yes. Um, another interesting thing is that this stage, more than others, uh, tends to use tails to show shortcuts that you can take as Sonic, and you'll see that come out with Metal Sonic. I feel like in other stages, you know, tails might show a few shortcuts that Sonic can take, uh, but this stage, definitely, like, every path that tails can take, Sonic can take, except, you know, Sonic will have to homing attack where tails would fly. Anyway, see you on Knuckles. Uh, I don't know why I say on Knuckles instead of something that would make sense, but whatever. I'd also like to squash any sense of suspense that there might be as regarding my uh, ring count. I will clear the stage with seven rings. Please don't watch my ring count during the stage. Um, anyway, so that lever there that I just pulled tilts the ship in whatever direction I want. So I, I pushed it forward and now the ship is tilted downward. And now these gates are open. Basically, the idea with these gates is trash falls out of them if you're tilting the ship in the right direction. Um, and in general, I get the idea that that's supposed to be the gimmick of the stage, but uh, lots of the emerald shards are just totally unrelated to what direction the ship is tilted. In fact, that was that first emerald shard is the only one that depends on how the ship tilts in this video. The other two that I get are just don't. It does doesn't matter how the ship is tilted. Uh, which is perfectly fine with me, because honestly, the ship tilting can get kind of old. Um, if you go to, a, like, if you find an emerald shard, but you can't get to it because, oh, I need to go back and tilt the ship, it's kind of annoying to have to go back to that central point and, you know, move the lever and then go back to where the emerald was. Um, so practically speaking, it's kind of an annoying thing. 
but I do like the concept. So, to back up here, I have talked about paths before and how Knuckles uh, generally plays through sections of Sonic stages that are full of crisscrossing paths and all that good stuff. Um, but aside from the structure, in terms of gameplay, Knuckles takes a portion of a Sonic stage and just does whatever he wants with it. So like here, Sonic is forced to run along that narrow walkway in front of us, that one that Knuckles failed to grab onto, and take a... and ride over to the rest of the stage. Basically, Sonic has to platform it through a stage. Yeah, basically Sonic has to platform through a stage. Whereas Knuckles, because he just flies on everything, or because he just climbs on everything and can glide anywhere he wants, he can access pretty much anything. And um, so, in general, I would say that Knuckles has a mastery over the stage's landscape. And I feel like the lever is a nice expression of that. So, if in general, Knuckles' gameplay is about doing whatever you want with the landscape and going when it, wherever you want, whenever you want, then the lever is just a perfect expression in that, like, Knuckles... Knuckles tilting the stage is further giving him power over the stage's landscape. You see what I mean? How, like... Being able to tilt the stage is an expression of power of the landscape, basically. I, I would say so, anyway. And what's nice about that, actually, it, it even goes further, where when Sonic vi visits this part of the stage, the ship is tilting side to side, front and back, so Sonic it, that gives Sonic a hard time while platforming. You have to time your jumps, you have to climb on ladders, etc. Um, but according to the story, presumably, Knuckles and Sonic are both playing that part at the exact same time. So while Knuckles is tilting the ship looking for emeralds and getting, you know, getting the ship to do whatever he wants, Sonic is just victim to this and it makes his platforming life a lot harder that Knuckles is looking for emeralds. And that that's such a neat that's so neat how that fits together where like the lever you know speaks to how much power Knuckles has over the stage and then it's that same lever that gives Sonic trouble while he's playing through the stage. Uh, anyway, speaking of Sonic, we've got him and Metal Sonic in the next video. Hope to see you then.